All right. Good morning, everyone. Praise God. Glory to God. We give God the glory for the gift of another day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Praise God. Why not say that with me? Psalm 118 verse 24. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. This today we are marking you beginning your life. God will visit you today. Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 15. Oh Lord, remember me and visit me. God will remember you today. God will visit you. The God that remember Hannah will remember you. The God that remember Sarah will remember you. The God that remember, remember uh, Rachel will remember you. God is visiting somebody today. Hallelujah. Can you say that is me? Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we just pray. Heavenly Father, we give you glory and majesty. We honor you. We adore you. We love and appreciate you. What a mighty God you are. We thank you for your mighty deeds. We thank you a shed of days for your good hand upon our lives. Thank you for your pro protection. Thank you for your preservation. Thank you, o God, for defending us. And of God, thank you, King of Glory, for your mighty deliverance of our lives, of our homes. We worship you. We honor you. We adore you. Blessed be your name, O God. We commit this service into your name. We pray that healing virtue will flow through the airways, O God, to heal the sick this morning, to set the captive free, to open the prison doors to them that have held captive in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you because, Lord, your anointing will flow through the airways, O God, to break yokes this morning in the name of Jesus and all to the glory of your name in Jesus' precious name we have prayed and let somebody shout a big amen hallelujah 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 you know you must have discovered by now that um, even before the lockdown that we don't just go into the presence of God and begin to ask for things uh, like one doing a uh, shopping, presenting our shopping list. No, 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 no. You don't approach prayer, approach prayer that way. So we approach God by first giving Him praise. Hallelujah. Giving Him praise. I love what somebody said. Let me just read what, what someone very inspiring uh, thought. The person said, When your pain is louder than your praise, you draw the attention of men to yourself. But when your praise is louder than your pain, you draw the presence of God. Amen. So, on that note, let's turn the Bible to Psalm 34. Psalm 34. Psalm 34. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Psalm 34, verses 1 to 4. I will bless the Lord at all times. Did you hear that? I will bless the Lord, not only when the time is good, but at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually, not sometime, praise God, continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord, the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened, they were radiant, and their faces were not ashamed. Glory to God. Let me draw your attention again to verse 4. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Why not say that with me? I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Through this broker this morning. Through this ministry this morning, God is going to deliver you from all your fears. God is going to hear you this morning. God is going to hear you this day. The ears of God are open to receive or to hear your cries this morning. I saw the Lord and he heard me and delivered me 
from all my fears. Before we get into that verse one, once again, I will bless the Lord at all times, and His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Why not fill your mouth with praise this morning unto the Most High? Let's give you praise. Hallelujah. Father, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you majesty. We worship you. We adore you for the gift of life. We we'll thank you for your good hand upon us. We we'll thank you for the way that you are leading us. We we'll thank you. We we'll praise you for your pre for the for your preservation, the preservation of our souls. Once again, Psalm one one six verse eight. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord who has delivered my soul from death, my feet from falling. Hallelujah. Cut up and my eyes from tears. Give him praise, honor him, adore him. Thank you for his mighty deliverance. According to Isaiah chapter 31 verse 5, uh, as the best flying, so shall the Lord of hosts preserve Jerusalem. In preserving, he will defend Jerusalem. In defending, hallelujah, he will deliver Jerusalem. As the praise God for delivering your life, for preserving your life, for preserving your home, honor and adore him. Glorify his name. Our God is good and his message endure forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Hallelujah. The one that does great things. Praise him for his great deeds. Praise him for his mighty good, for his mighty hand upon your life, upon your home. Praise him. Hallelujah. We worship you, Almighty Father, for in Jesus' precious name we worship. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right. Since the beginning of the week, we've been on a journey that of sharing with us the need, the significance, if you like, of basing your prayer on the Word of God. In need, we have examined the very nature and the power of the Word of God. Praise God. If you are new to this platform, this is a prayer platform. But then in the process, we also share the Word of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So, um, we won't go over all that we have done already. But there's just something we want to share with you. Praise God. Also, in line with all that we have been uh, share it this Monday, praise God, on the integrity of the Word of God. Now, specifically in line with divine healing. Today's Friday, where we lift up issues about our healing, amen, and some other allied issues or associated issues before the Lord. Today is your day of deliverance. That sickness is leaving your life today. In the mighty name of Jesus. So turn your Bibles with me very quickly to Proverbs chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 20. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20. My son, attend to my words. Incline thy ear unto my saints. Let them not depart from the eyes. Keep them in the midst of thy heart. For they are life unto those that find them and head to all their flesh. For they are life unto those that find them and head to all their flesh. Now, let's take a look again at verses 20 and 21. Amen? And try to get some meanings out of what the Word of God is presented here to be. In other words, the integrity of the word of God. My son, attend to my words, incline thy ears unto my sayings. Let them not depart from the eyes, keep them in the midst of the heart. Now, verse 22 For they are life unto those 
that find them and head to all their flesh. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This is just, you know, in addition to all that we have been saying since the beginning of the week, but specifically this just comes in the area of divine healing. And this is one of the ways to receive healing, to draw healing virtues from God through His Word, through the avenues of avenue of His Word. Verse 22 once again says, For they are life. They are life. The word that I speak unto you are spirit and life. They are life unto those that find them. And that is why they transmit the divine healing. They transmit the, the very virtue of God. Because God and His word are one. Amen. And they are head and head to all their flesh. So how do you go about this? By proclaiming the word of God. By drawing virtues from relevant scripture. When I say relevant scripture, scripture that points you to divine healing. For instance, Isaiah 53, amen, verses 1 to 5, verse 5, for by his stripes we are healed. Psalm 103, verse 3, he has forgiven all my sins and healed all, all my diseases. Who forgave it? All my sins and he let all my diseases, not some of them, all of them. And this scripture tells us that by so doing, you are transmitting God's healing virtue into your system. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Throughout the week, we were on that scripture. Tells us the word of God is weak and powerful. Amen. And sharper than any two edged swords. Piercing asunder, we told us nothing stands on the way of the word of God. Nothing absolutely stands on the way of the word of God. The word of God has supremacy over every situation, over every circumstances. The word of God deals with mountains. The word of God deals with every opposition, every affliction, every 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 sickness, every disease, and even more. Praise God. So you've got to open the relevant scripture, scripture that deals with divine healing, and minister them to yourself. Amen? Say them to yourself. Personalize those words. I mean, it doesn't matter if that word was, uh, God was in conversation with Abraham, as recorded in scripture, or in uh, uh, conversation with whoever. Praise God. What matters now is that you are the one in, in conversation with God and just simply receive the benefits. Glory to God. And as you do that, we trust that you will soon share your testimony uh, in all to the glory of God. In Jesus' precious name. Can I hear your amen? Hallelujah. All right, let's begin to get into very close to praying now. Turn your Bibles with me to Psalm 62. Psalm 62, we read from verse 10. Psalm 62, we read from verse 10. Trust not in oppression and become not vain in robbery. If God has spoken once, twice have I heard this. The power belongeth unto God. Power is not in the hand of the enemy, child of God. If power belongs to God, that power belongs to you. You'll be amazed of the vast deposit of God's power that is on the inside of you. If the greater one is on the inside of you, he is here with that power. Glory to God. God has spoken once, twice, I heard this, that power belongeth unto God. I have that power. You have right to that deposit of power. Into the deposit of power. Amen. And hey, we have heard this 
word in the body of Christ over the years, that power is changing hands. This morning, power is changing hands. This morning, you are going to be an oppressor to that which has oppressed you over the years. This morning, the power of God is coming to you to subdue that sickness, to subdue that disease, to rule over that sickness, to, 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 to dominate over that situation in the mighty name of Jesus. God has spoken once, twice, I heard it, that power belongs to God. Now say this with me. Twice I heard it, that power belongs to me. Amen. I have right to everything that belongs to God. That which is in the bosom of God, that which God has, amen, belongs to me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now finally, let's turn our Bibles to 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 10. We read from verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imagination, imaginations, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Hallelujah. The weapons of our warfare are more cannon, but are mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. That sickness is a stronghold is coming down this morning. Hallelujah. That sickness we obey the voice of the Lord this morning. That sickness will melt under the heat of the name of Jesus. The Bible says, at the mention of that name, every knee bows and every tongue confesses that Jesus is Lord. That disease is taking its leap of your life this morning. It doesn't matter for how long you've had it. It doesn't matter if you if you inherited it from the foundation. Hey, that doesn't matter at all. What matters is that God is taking over this morning. You just heard it read. Praise God from Psalm 62 verse 11. Once God spoke twice, I heard that power belongs to God. We are applying that power this morning. That power is removing that disease. The Bible says uh, every tree not planted by God shall be shall be removed, uh, shall be destroyed. We destroy that seed of sickness in your life this morning. The Bible says the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointed. The yoke will not only be removed, but it shall be destroyed because of the anointed. We are breaking that yoke of sickness over your life this morning. We are breaking that yoke of disease over your life this morning. In the name of Jesus, this is the day God has ordained for your liberation. This is the day God has ordained for your divine healing. In the name of Jesus, that garment of sickness is catching, is, is, is getting out of your life this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, every covenant with sickness, every oath with sickness, every, every, every degree of sickness over your life is going back to the same that this morning. In the name of of Jesus, that sickness knew where it came from is going back to wherever it came from. In the name of Jesus, this is the day God has ordained. Hallelujah! That you will rise above affliction, you will rise above oppression, you will rise above diseases, you will rise above sicknesses, you will rise above everything. The enemy has fallen at you in the precious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Come unto me, and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things. Great and mighty things are coming your way this morning. Hallelujah. That healing you have been looking for is coming your way this morning in the name that is above every other name. Now let's rise and begin to pray. Wherever you are, open your mouth. Let's begin to pray. Decree and declare. This is God's ordained day. This is God's ordained time for my healing. 
in the name of Jesus. Begin to claim your healing. Makoska paku teke tu urakata. Risko prakata erike ne moshoku. La brakata badu de badada da kuya kata yada rabasoni. La braba baba basu kotori ba. I receive my healing. I receive my healing. I receive my deliverance. In the name of Jesus, Makuska Kataku Rika Labo Shatai. Le Baba Balestan of Psalm 103, verse 3. Who have forgiven my sins, healed all my diseases. Makaka Kaka 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 Kaka. Release the anointing of God upon that issue this morning. Upon that sickness, evoke and gauge the anointing. Engage the healing vessel of God upon that sickness. In the name of Jesus, the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Mahuska Payanda Lekusakaya. Call that sickness by by his name. Call it whatever the doctor has called it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mahuska Kurika Labosha Katurika Lakata. Marabasoto Robo Sheke Makusakuta. Marababa Soto. The Bible says you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. The Bible says whatsoever you bind on it shall be bound in heaven. Bind that sickness. Destroy the root of that sickness in the name of Jesus. Take authority over that disease. Mako koko shekeke. Marabaso tora mayanda. Ilabako tako ya katol. Le broto zozo zo kabaya katere mosendi. La kruko soko ya la rabalaba shanta. Le baba baba a release of fire. Generation fire. Change that disease out of your body. Change that sickness out of your body. In the name of Jesus. Root that disease out of your body. Root that sickness out of your body. The Bible says once again. Every dream of planted by God shall be rooted out. Root it out. In the name of Jesus. Masokore Mahaladaraba Sunday. In Jesus' precious name. We have prayed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Turn your Bibles with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And here I'd like you to say some things. Hallelujah. I'd like you to make some declarations. 1 Corinthians. Chapter 15. Chapter 15, verse 54. Let's go right to verse 54. Hallelujah. Now, this is a sum of all that we have been sharing with you on how to base your word, your prayer on the word. Not only that, how to speak the word in the face of adverse situation. Because, hey, I mean, in the, in, the, in the light of the unprecedented global pandemic, hallelujah, period we are in now, and we know God has taken over, what you and I mean is never to speak darkness. It was all dark. According to Genesis chapter 1, when God spoke light, so all that we have taught you since uh, the beginning of the week is this. That in the midst of darkness, you speak the light of God, which is the word of God. Praise the Lord. In the midst of opposition, you speak the word of God. In the midst of deadly situations, what do you do? You speak the word of God. For instance, um, Psalm 91 verse 16. Praise God. It says, with long life will I satisfy you. Praise God. So in the face of the pandemic situation, you will say, praise God. My case is different because he has satisfied me. He will satisfy me with long life. I have long life. I have a covenant of long life with God. Praise God. And also Psalm uh, 118 verse 17. I shall not die, but I shall live to declare his wonderful work for this God. I shall not die. I know that I shall not die. So I'm not on the edge. I'm not, praise God, I'm not, I'm not frightened because I know who I am in God. I know what God has promised me. I know my covenant right with God. So I shall not die. Can you say with me, I shall not die? But live and declare the works of God. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of God. Praise God. And also, uh, like the scripture we asked you to just wait to open a while ago, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 54. Go with me to the last line. It says, Death is swallowed up in victory. Praise God. Say, concerning my life, concerning my home, 
death has no power because death is swallowed up in victory. Praise God. Amen. Speak the word. Hallelujah. You haven't forgotten Matthew chapter 8, verse 8. They said to your sense of Jesus, I, I, I cannot have you come under my roof. But however, speak the word, and my son shall be healed. Child of God, what God is teaching you, what God is teaching me right now, is this. It doesn't matter the magnitude of what you are faced with. It doesn't matter for how long you've been in that situation. It doesn't matter for how long you've been sick. It doesn't matter. That's difficult financial situation. Hey, child of God, speak the word. Speak the word. That is the lesson. Speak the word. Because once again, according to Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, the word of God is quick and powerful. Amen. The word of God is powerful. The word of God is powerful. Hallelujah. So concerning my home, concerning my life, death is swallowed up. If you can open your mind, begin to bind and destroy the power of death. Raise the standard against death. Chase death out of your home. Mourners will not gather in this home. I'm sure you are watching this broadcast from your home. Declare, mourners will not gather in this home. No member of this home will be taken by coronavirus. No member of this home will be taken by any disease. In the mighty name of Jesus, death will not knock on the door of my home. Makuska payanda kutebikiti. Le brototo toto papaya katebikiti. Le dusa bada destroy death. Destroy death. Overcome death. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Isaiah 28, verse 18. Your covenant with death has been disannulled. Ha! Ko, 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 ko. Every covenant with death that has takes root from my foundation. Today, I root you out. Pray, pray, pray. Open your mouth. Every covenant of death, Kalus, Katori, Balabashanda, it doesn't matter the number of members of your family that died before, that died prematurely, or that died before their time. Glory to God. I'm not Kelebo Shataya added to that statistics. My case is different. I'm not going to die before my time. In the mighty name of Jesus, nothing will kill me before my time. Malus, Satori, Alabashi, take authority over premature death. Take authority. Now listen to this. Over substitutionary death. What do you mean by that? I will not die in the death of another. Pray, 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 pray. Ah! I will not die for my enemies to rejoice. I will not die in the death of another. In the name of Jesus, I will not die before my time. Go recall a shantaya. Le pro do 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 ka 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 ka. Pray, 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 pray. Now pray. According to Isaiah 54, verse 17, no weapon formed a fashion against me shall prosper. Open your mouth, begin to silence every weapon, every object. They go to fire, that they formed a fashion against you. The weapon of tongues, the weapons, the basoko, tayanda, basoto, ikalabashana, are of evil desires. In the name of Jesus, declare with me. According to Isaiah chapter 7, verse 7, they shall not. Not stay, neither shall they come to pass. In the name of Jesus, come against the weapon of evil imagination. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3, we read. I profess three. Marabasanda to a five five. It talks about imagination. Casting down imagination. They authority to over evil imagination. Fashion against your life. Oh, oh, put them down. Put them down. Keep imagination. Fashion against my life. In the name of Jesus, Psalm 21, Madame Satire, the Bible says the Bible is level, they imagine a mischievous thing which they are not able to perform. We speak frustration to the camp of your enemy. Let them plan, but they will not be able to execute. In the name of Jesus, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Please stretch your hands to West me to discover that my time. Hallelujah. It's only all right now. Stretch your hands over me. Hallelujah. Virtue is coming to you. Healing virtue is coming to you. I see God. I hear creative healing in my spirit. And that is for you. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I take authority. Over Mahalaba Shantaya, Kurikala Moshata, every disease in your body, every sickness in your body, 
Kenida Malakus Kato Paya Katere Kete. I decree, I declare. Ha, your head will not waste your money. Your head will not waste uh, your destiny. In every acquired sickness in your life, every acquired disease in your life, by the fire of God, I remove it from your body. I send it to the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Killer disease will not come near you. Lekete Makusa Kuta Yakatorika will receive. Lekete Maharaba Soto Bayaka God's anointing upon your heart. You will not die. Karabashandaya or stroke. If your heart will not fail, your kidney will not fail, your liver will not fail. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Adonai. Lift your hands and worship the Lord if you have received all of that. Praise Him. Adore Him. Magnify His holy name. For our God is awesome. Hallelujah. He will do what He says He will do. God is not a man that will lie. Neither is He the Son of Man that will repent. We read yesterday from Malachi chapter 3, about verse 7, that God simply will not change. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We congratulate you. And please go ahead and share your testimonies with us to the glory of God and invite, uh, introduce uh, rather people to this platform. Isn't it wonderful to wake up early in the morning and you are disempowered? Amen. You are disempowered. Please, if it's good for you, it's good for others. Praise God. Introduce the whole world to this platform. Amen. And God will bless you. Please stay put. We are not done, praise God, and uh, uh, my precious wife is coming to drive this vehicle, amen, to the end, praise God, let's welcome her. Hallelujah, uh, praise the Lord, what a wonderful time we have had already, what a great session in the presence of the Lord, hallelujah, can you just wave, wave your hands and raise your voice, David said it's on fire in the morning, you will hear my voice, oh God, you will hear my voice and I will look up, lift up your hands. Just say, Father, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I didn't wake up by my power. Many people lost their lives 24 hours ago. But I am alive. Thank you, Lord. My husband is alive. My wife is alive. My children are alive. It is well with me. I appreciate it. It's only well with me, not because of anything I have done, but because you love me. Ah, I, can, I, I can rely. I, I can have boldness to come boldly to the throne of grace only because of your loving kindness and your tender mercies. I am grateful. I am grateful. Can you, can you say, Lord, can you be grateful to God? When you are grateful, when you are grateful, God will do great things in your life. When you are thankful, your tank will be full. Be thankful for your, for your breath. Be thankful for all the organs in your body. Command everything within you to bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Let his praise be in your mouth. Not just be in your mouth, but throughout the day, throughout the month, throughout the year. Let the praise of God be continually in your mouth. In your mouth. Why? Because God is good to you. You are a precious child of God. Raise your hand. Declare, I am a precious child of God. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am successful. I, I have the power of God in me. The hand of God has lifted me up. I am well. I am whole. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not looking at what the doctor has said. I'm not looking at what the doctor has said. I am looking at what the word of God says. And I am standing upon the word of God. Hallelujah. Especially because the Bible says there shall be no none of my habitants in Isaiah 33. None of my habitants, no member of my household shall be sick. This is my promise. I declare it. I receive it. I will see it happen in my home. Declare it. Declare it. That's what we're doing this morning. We have not just come to watch everybody. We have come to make a declaration. We have woken up this morning to seek the face of God because we need a better way for ourselves, for our wives, for our husbands, for our children. We need a better way for those beloved people in our lives. We need a better way. And that's why we have come before the throne of grace to obtain grace and mercy for our time of need. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even as we carry on, we're going to raise our voice for our land because we are his watchmen. That's right. We are his watchmen. When you have the spirit of God in you, you are a watchman. And the Bible says he has set us upon the world to watch. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 13. We're going to use that scripture to stand in the gap. And the Lord said, 
because they have forsaken my law, which I said before them, and have not obeyed my voice, neither walked therein, but have walked after the imagination of their own hearts, after Berlin, with which their fathers taught them. Because any time people turn away from God, any time the nation forsakes God, any time men and women harden their hearts and follow Berlin, Berlin stands for idols. And idols can be anything that you live before God. What did God what there, there was a cause released in verse 15. Therefore, thus said the Lord God of hosts, the God of Israel, behold, I will feed them, even these people, with warm warm wood, and I will give them water. Sorry, I will give them water of girl to drink. The water of girl is bitterness. That means when a nation rejects God, there is bitterness. And to be honest, that is part of some of the things the nations of the world are facing. The nations of the world have not called upon God. But he said, if my people, that's our conclusion. That is our joy. That's our soul solace. That when the people of God call by his name, that's why we are watchmen. If we raise up our voice and pray, God will forgive the sin. God will hear from heaven and God will heal the land. Can you say, Father, Father, forgive the sin of the United Kingdom. Forgive the sin of my nation. Wherever nation you are in, declare as the Lord to have mercy over the sin of the nation. The sin of rejecting God. He said they are forsaking my law. They have made God God for themselves. They have, they, have, they, have turned, they have turned away from hearing God. Father, we ask for your mercy. We ask for your mercy. We begin from the church of God because people are even in the household of God. People have titles. People carry big Bibles. People do, do things that people can say for them but behind closed doors. Oh, things are not right. Father, we ask for your mercy. Starting from your church. Because when judgment comes, it comes right from the church. Father, we ask for mercy, O oh God. We are for mercy. We draw our nations back to you. We draw the nations of the world back to you. We draw your United Kingdom back to you. We ask, O oh God, that you spare this nation from bitterness. Spare this nation from bitterness. Abraham was bold enough to pray and stand the God for the land. He said, Lord, if you find 50 righteous, will you have mercy? God said, I will have mercy. If you, have, if you find 40, will you have mercy? God see, say, yes, for those 40, I will have mercy. If you find 30, I will have mercy. Father, we know that in this nation, there are more than 50, there are more than 40, there are more than 30. Oh, Rabba, Baba, Kashi, he said, Father, we say, even if you find one righteous, you will have mercy. Mara, Baba, 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 have mercy, 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 mercy. Please ask for the mercy of God, because when bitterness comes, we uh, uh, sometimes we will not be exempted because we are in the land right now churches of God cannot meet as well if, just as other organizations cannot meet so that's why we need to raise our voice raise your voice raise your voice raise your voice raise your voice there are many of us have got our businesses to do we can't go out to do those businesses because of bitterness in the land so that's why we need to plead the mercy of God I plead the mercy of God I raise my voice for this land I raise my voice oh God spare your people 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 spare your, people. Spare your church spare your people spare the nation draw the nation to yourself draw the nation to yourself because of the blood Lord of Jesus, because of the blood of Jesus, oh Father, have mercy. Oh Father, have mercy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you, because you can come boldly to the throne of grace. Not taking the grace of God for, for, for granted. Not taking the grace of God for granted, but saying that, Lord God, you will hear and you will hear our land. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible says when we pray for men and women, when we pray for our nation, we also will live a peaceful life. We will live a fruitful life. We will live a life that we will be proud of because we have obeyed the word of God to stand in the gap. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus said uh, 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 to that wonderful sister in John 11. Amen. In John 11, 40, which you need to receive this morning, he said unto her, if you believe, did I tell you, in fact, that's what I, 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 I want you to grab this morning. Says not I unto you, dear, did I not tell you that if you will believe, you will see the glory of God? Haven't I told you already? That's what God is saying to you. Haven't I told you that if you what? Believe. 
Can you say, Lord, I believe I will see your glory in the land of the living, in my lifetime, in my generation. I will see your glory in my wife's life. I will see your glory in my husband's life. I will see your glory in my children. I will see your glory. I believe to see your glory. I want to see your glory. I will enjoy your glory. I will see your glory, Father. In the land of the living, in the land of the living, I see your glory in the name of Jesus. Your glory is upon me. And because of that, the Bible says, I have no shame, no shame, no pain, no shame, no pain, no shame is upon me in the name of Jesus. No mourning is upon me in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. As the man of God has declared unto us, we stand upon healing scriptures upon the word of God on Fridays because you need to speak to your body. <laughs> and which times, what time do you have to speak to your body? Even like this time, this is a wonderful time. It's a necessary time that because there's sickness all over the land. Father, in our land, we cause this coronavirus. We uproot it from our nation. This sickness that is killing thousands, that is taking lives on a daily basis, killing people as if they are just flies. Marabata shakataya. And we declare it will not come near our household because we see your glory. Because we see your glory. Because we see your glory. Amen. Acts chapter 3, verse 16. Through the Bible says, and his name. Do you know the name of Jesus and his name? Through faith in his name. Faith is expectation. And faith is, is based on the foundation of hope. Faith, faith is the substance of things hope for the evidence. You have you you you, you have you have not seen the physical evidence, but you when you have understanding of the name, when you have faith in the name of Jesus, that is your evidence. True faith in his name have made this man strong. Declare I am strong. The faith in Jesus makes you strong. Faith in his name has made this man what strong. Who was that man? This is Acts 3. The Bible tells us this man, this man who is being referred to here was a man sitting at a beautiful gate whose life was far from beautiful. There was nothing beautiful about him, even though he was at a beautiful gate. You might call it international beautiful ministries, but his life did not show anything about beauty. But I thank God the Bible tells me he will give me beauty for ashes. Hallelujah. He's taking my ashes away and he's giving me beauty. I thank God. Faith in his name. Even though this man was sitting at a beautiful gate, his life was not beautiful. But the Bible says what happened? Faith in his name. Faith in his name. Faith in the name of Jesus made him strong. For 40 years, this man was being carried. For 40 years, this man could not look after himself. For 40 years, right from his mother's womb, I declare over your life this morning, as you pray right now, and as you stand upon the word of God, you will be made strong. Your life will be beautiful. The house of God is beautiful. This was actually the temple. The Bible says it was the hour of prayer. John and Peter were going into the house of God at the hour of prayer. This morning, because you have come for the hour of prayer, you have woken up for the hour of prayer, your life will be beautiful. Hallelujah. Your life will be beautiful. Amen. I believe God has been watching that man over the years. And God had a plan for this man. God had a plan for this man. Just as God has a plan for you, that your life will be beautiful. That your life will be beautiful. He was made strong. Declare I am made strong. My wife is made strong. My husband is made strong. All my children, wherever they are, all over the world, wherever they are, all over the nation, wherever I speak the word of God, strength, faith in his name. What, do you, what does that mean? I believe it. Say, Lord, I believe it. I believe it. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong. No attaches in my body. No disease in my body. No sickness in my body. No coronavirus in my body. I speak it. I don't care the symptoms you are seeing. So many brethren, so many children of God have given testimonies that they were feeling or oh, leave any symptom of coronavirus. They saw those symptoms, symptoms, but they stood upon the word of God and God granted them their healing. You are not an exception. Declare the word of God. Declare the word of God. Faith in his name has made this man strong, whom you see and know. Yea, the faith which is by him has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. What did this man get? Perfect soundness. Declare. Come on, speak it now. Don't wait for the doctor to tell you you have a disease before you speak it. Healing is what you receive. This is your healing service. You don't need any man of God to lay hands upon you before you believe it. Receive it. Perfect soundness. This is my day of perfect soundness. Perfect soundness. Perfect healing. I'm healed from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. In that day. Perfect. 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 Do you know what that means? That is not one 
one thing is wrong with you. Not one thing is wrong with your blood system. Not one thing is wrong with your respiration. Not one thing is wrong with your digestion. Nothing. Nothing. Perfect sound. I say, Lord, I receive it for my wife, for my husband, for my household, for my children. I need perfect soundness. Perfect soundness. Perfect soundness. I've come to the beautiful gate. I've come to the house of God. And I say, Lord, my life is beautiful. My life is beautiful. Because God has given me perfect soundness. Declare perfect healing. Soundness. When you are sound, that means you are solid. That means nothing is wrong with you. That means nobody can find anything to point to and say it's not right in your life. And he gave him unto them, verse 5, expecting to receive something. What do you expect this morning? Say, Lord, I expect my healing. I expect the word of God. My faith, I will not be put to shame as I stand upon the word of God. I receive, I come boldly. Remember that woman who was healed, that woman that we all know about, who taught them of garment. The Bible says, for she said, if I touch them of his garments, I will make hold. She said it. So what are you saying? What is your expectation? Say it. Say it. I say I am not sick. No, no symptom. As I go to work, to bring sickness into my household. Declare it, declare it, declare it. Nobody will bring sickness into my household. In the name of the Lord Jesus, no virus is coming upon me. Because I expect. The Bible says that man was looked upon. Peter and John. Expecting to receive something. This morning, I expect to receive my healing. I expect no sickness comes near me. I expect in the name of Jesus. You know, Peter said to him, I don't have silver, I don't have gold. That was not because Peter was poor. He just said, if I ask you right now, maybe even as you are sitting right now, you may not have silver and gold on you where you are, but you can have millions in the bank. Hallelujah. Amen. But the, what Peter was saying is that your the, the need you have in your life is not silver and gold. What do you need in your life right now? He says, such as I have, you need the power of God. You need the power of God to change your story. You know, the kingdom of God is not just in word, but in power. As you have, have woken up this morning to pray, you will see the power of God. You will see the power of God. He says, such as I have. You know, that was by the power of God, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. In the name of Jesus, I am healed. In the name of Jesus, no cancer. In the name of Jesus, I have no more miscarriages. In the name of Jesus, I am not barren. In the name of Jesus, I am fruitful. In the name of Jesus, Makatarababa, speak the word of God. Speak the word of God in the name of Jesus. I rise up and I walk. I rise up and I walk. In, because of the power in that name. Because of the glory of God in that name. In the name of Jesus, there is power in that name. There is power in that name. My husband can rise up and walk. My wife can rise up and walk. My children can rise up and walk. I receive it. Speak, speak that word. Speak that word in the name of Jesus. According to my expectation. Because I have, I have, I, 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 I have access to the power of God. Through the word of God. Through the word of God. Amen. And the Bible says in verse 7 that Peter took him by the right hand. Lifted him up. And immediately his feet and his ankle, ankle bones received what? Strength. You need the strength of God. He said immediately he received strength. He really received strength. L lift up your hands and say, I receive the strength of God. Let it flow through me. Let it flow. No weakness in me. No weakness in me. You want to go to your next level. You need to do so many things. You have been so weak. You can't move yourself. Declare this morning, I receive strength. Declare it this morning, I receive strength. I receive strength. And that strength he received. This was a man for 40 years who had just who had just been in one spot. How was this? What did he do? He leaped. He was jumping. He was leaping. He leaped into the temple. He leaped. he didn't just walk. He leaped. Somebody who could not walk. Somebody who people have to carry every day. People have to carry. But God changed that story. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. You are jumping, you are leaping. Everything the doctor said you could not do, you will begin to do. Everything the doctor said concerning that five brought, you are delivered in the name of Jesus. Mention whatever sickness that is. Just declare the word of God. Jumping and leaping and praising God. Why? Because he expected something. 
this morning your case is not your case will not be any different from this man because he was jumping and leaping declare i'm jumping up i'm well i'm well i'm well hallelujah my wife is well my husband is well my children all of them are well my grandchildren all that concerns me they are well they are well in the name of the lord jesus christ power in the name of jesus there's power in the name of the that power flows through my household that power flows through my household because i have received divine strength i receive divine healing i receive divine healing this morning in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the hand of god is upon me the hand of god is upon my household hallelujah the hand of god the hand of god isaiah Amen. Isaiah 28. Hallelujah. Verse 29. Amen. I want you to know this morning that we are sound and excellent God. And we have, as the man of God told us earlier, that the word of God will never return to him for. That's the Isaiah 55. He will never return. God's word will prosper in your life. And that's what you are doing at this time of, and at this hour of prayer. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 28, 29. This also cometh forth from the from the Lord of hosts, which is wonderful in counsel and excellent in walking. Hallelujah. God is excellent in walking. God is excellent in walking. He's doing an excellent work in your life. Declaring this morning, thank you, Father, because in my marriage, you are doing an excellent work. In my body, you are doing an excellent work. An excellent work. He's excellent in walking. He's excellent in walking. He's excellent in walking. He's excellent in walking. Thank you, Father. And you see excellence. Oh, Rabba, Rabba, Rabba. break it. God is giving you perfect soundness. God is giving you a perfect miracle. God is giving you a perfect testimony. This morning, I receive it. I receive it. I have a perfect testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. I have a perfect testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember what was recorded in John chapter 9, verse 31 by a man that Jesus healed. He said, And we know that God heareth not sinners. But if any man be a worshipper of God and doeth his will, he will God hear. Are you a worshipper of God? If you're a worshipper of God, God will show you signs and wonders. That's what the Bible says. That's John chapter 9, verse 31. If you are a worshipper and you call upon his name, not by your power, but because you have called upon his name, because you have hid him in the blood of Jesus, you have called yourself by the blood of Jesus, you have relied on the name of Jesus. He prayed, he said, if any man be a worshipper, I'm so encouraged to see this scripture. If any man be a worshipper, if any man be a worshipper and do it his way, he will get a miracle. If any man be a worshipper and do it his way, he answered him. That is my portion. Declare that's my portion. That is my portion. So that God is working for you excellently. But the Bible says God will do far above what you can imagine. God will do more than you can ask, more than you can think this morning in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Still Isaiah 21. Um, 28, sorry, verse 21. For the Lord shall rise up as in Mount Perazim. He shall be wrought as in the valley of Gibeon, that he may do his work, his strange work, and bring to pass his acts, his strange acts. God is not going to wait for the doctors. God is not going to wait for the doctors or the medicine to heal you. He will do a strange work. That is, you become a son and a wonder. Father, in my marriage, in my body, in my life, oh, Father, whatever concerning world, in my life, whatever concerns me, Father, do a strange work. Do a strange work. Do a strange work. Declare it, speak it in the name of Jesus. God is doing a strange work. A strange work. A sudden work. When God does a strange work for you, mara mama, ma, that cancer goes immediately. That cancer that the doctor said will take away your life in the next 10 months. Mara ma, 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 ma. it goes away because God will do a strange work. God does not need the approval of a doctor. God does not need the approval of a doctor. Jesus went to the cross. He nailed cancer to the, to the cross. He nailed every form of epilepsy to the, to the cross. He nailed deafness to the cross, blindness to the cross. He nailed high blood pressure, low blood pressure. He nailed it to the cross. Every form of sickness in your body, he nailed it to the cross. Father, do a strange walk. Do a speedy walk. A strange walk is a speedy walk. A strange walk is an outstanding walk. A strange walk is a notable walk. And remember that concerning that man, that man at the beautiful gate, the Bible says that God did a notable miracle. In fact, it was the Pharisees that confirmed. He said, See that this, this is a notable miracle and we cannot deny it. Father, in my body, can you declare, do something that men cannot deny? 
and they will see that it is you in my wife's body, in my husband's body, in my children's body, in the name of Jesus. That is what healing is. That is the strange work of God. It is strange because man cannot explain it. Man, Baba, do what is unexplainable. Do something notable. Good stuff. Do something notable. Oh, wait, wait, wait. a great turnaround. A great turnaround for me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. A strange walk, a strange walk, a strange walk. David prayed a prayer in Psalm 71, verse 18, which I have been praying and I have been seeing God do in my life. Amen. Psalm 71, verse 18. Amen. He said there, now also, when I am old and gray headed, don't worry about your age there, but what you need to focus on is, oh God, forsake me not until I have shown thy strength unto this generation. Father, don't leave me until I can be a testimony of your power. That is, this is the word of God. Stand upon it. Lord, leave, don't leave me until I can show your strength to my generation. Glory to God. This is your generation. This is not the generation of your grand grandfather or the great generation of your grand grandchildren. This is your generation. Lord, let me show my generation how great you are. Let me show my generation how glorious you are. Let me show my generation how powerful you are. Let my life be a testament. Not a, not a testament of sorrow. Not a testament of pain and shame. That will keep at me. That will keep at my life from death. My eyes from tears and my feet from falling make me a sign and a wonder. That was what David was praying here. And I, I can see you if we look at the life of David, David's life was glorious. David, David achieved for God because these were the kind of prayers that David prayed. Pray over your life. Lord, don't leave me until I can show this generation. Or like, until I can show my generation that you are great. Until I can show my generation that you are a healer. Until I can show my generation. That you are the only one that can turn situations around. Let me be a testimony. Every every source of pain in my life, every source of sorrow in my life, I shake you up this morning. I shake you up this morning. Massacre, break is I will show my generation. Through me, through me, Lord, you will show my generation. Oh God, oh God, I'm a God of what excellent in walking. You are excellent in walking. Show my generation through me, oh God. Oh God. He said again in Psalm 55, verse 16. As for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord will save me. You did not wake up in vain this morning. You are woken up to call upon God. And when you call upon God, He will save you. Thank you, Father. You have saved me. Yes, I call upon God, and the Lord shall save me. I make that declaration. I am saved. That is it. And I, I, I love that word. It's not restricted to anything. Thing. If you have health issues, if you have financial issues, if you have immigration issues, if you have employment, whatever issue it is, declare or oh, mama issues with your with your with your business. You are self-employed. God is going to touch your hand. He said, I will call upon the Lord. God will touch the work of your hand. God will touch you. You are ill, you are set free. You are ill, you are delivered. Makara Brachos Kete Kebreke. Jekete Kere Broko Zogutonobo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Baba. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Give the Lord the glory. Remember, anybody who is a worshiper, if any man be a worshiper, God heareth him. Well, any, any man, any man who is a worshiper, him, the Lord heareth. Him, the Lord heareth. I'm telling you, as you have woken up this morning to call upon God, hallelujah, God has written his history, it's written in his word that the Lord will hear you. That means every man will celebrate with you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you for waking up this morning and being a part of this time of prayer. Don't make it a one-off. Make it, in fact, we are in the days where you are responsible for your time with God. You are responsible to fellowship with the people of God. Hallelujah. Don't let the devil steal from you. Hallelujah. Make it continuous. Amen. 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 Don't forget that as part of your prayer, as part of your seeking God, is also putting upon the altar your burnt offering, which is your seed. Hallelujah, it works together. Your prayer works together even with your offering because that is a sacrifice. Bring your seed before God. Amen. We have uh, 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 opportunities for our online giving because we want you to have big, bigger testimonies than you already have. Amen. We are not buying God, but we are, we are showing God that we are committed, we are dedicated to Him. As you do that, the fire of heaven will fall upon your sacrifice. Hallelujah. And indeed, as you have prayed this morning, 
you will be an a sign and a wonder. People will see you and people will testify that you are serving a living God. Amen. Please remember to join us again Monday to Friday. Morning glory. Hallelujah. We're going to be here again on Sunday morning. Amen. Please be a part of us as the Lord will help you. In Jesus' name, have a wonderful weekend. It is your time to rejoice. It is your time to celebrate. In Jesus' name.